It is Monday and ETH is back at 3000. Feels good to be back. EIP 1559 has been active for five days now. So far we've burned 16,602.65 ETH, which is the equivalent of 48,749,531.06 United States dollars. And by the time I've said that, we've already burned a few more ether. So the point is ETH now has a decreasing supply, AKA it's ultrasound money but technically not yet since two ETH is still being rewarded to miners on each block. So we're essentially decreasing inflation by some percent until further notice. We're going to be taking a look at the burn leaderboard and this post, there's a lot to unpack here, right after this short message from our sponsor. Interested in minting USDO stablecoin using any MTLX token? Thanks to the new partnership between MetalX, OpenDAO and OCP, MetalX token holders can stake any MTLX on omnicomp.ocp.finance and mint the USDO stablecoin. You can also borrow BUSD and a number of other tokens using any MTLX as collateral. $25,000 in MTLX has been dedicated to this yield farming program. The current API is over 700%. MetalX is a decentralized traditional and crypto commodities derivatives exchange powered by Fetch AI that provides the technology needed to scale the DeFi ecosystem to meet the needs of today's global financial markets. For more information, please visit this website. So let's start with the leaderboard. Out of eight of the top contributors, four of them are NFT related. The first place is of course reserved for OpenSea and with a grand return of another NFT bull run, this really isn't surprising, is it? But hey, Lindsay already saw that coming. So OpenSea's burn count is nearing 2000 ETH alone and doesn't seem to be cooling down anytime soon. So thanks to all the JPEG connoisseurs that are leading the burn. Bless all of you. On 4th of August, Fight for the Future posted hashtag cryptocurrency red alert. There is a crypto provision hidden in a must pass bill that will allow mass surveillance of the crypto economy. Luckily, an amendment has been introduced that addresses these issues. Tell your senator to support it ASAP. Okay, that's slightly intimidating, but who is Fight for Future to begin with? So, in their own words, we are a group of artists, engineers, activists, and technologists who have been behind the largest online protests in human history channeling internet outrage into political power to win public interest victories previously thought to be impossible. We fight for the future where technology liberates, not oppresses us. And they've previously been vocal about net neutrality, banning facial recognition, canceling police and Amazon partnerships, and now they're exposing politicians with outdated meme templates. It's pretty funny, not gonna lie. But jokes aside, this is Mark Warner, and he proposed an amendment that would decide which foundational crypto technologies are okay or not, essentially deciding who gets to survive in this industry. Initially, Senator Warner's amendment asked for proof of stake validators to comply with the new financial reporting requirements to the IRS while excluding proof of work miners. Although after receiving backlash, he revised his amendment to this, excluding proof of work and proof of stake this time, but leaving out other consensus mechanisms. It's pretty odd and unclear why they're doing it this way. On the other hand, we have the widen Loomis Toomey Amendment, which exempts cryptocurrency miners and software developers from the new tax reporting obligations. So the too long didn't read version is the infrastructure bill is stalled since we still don't know how to regulate crypto and the Senate has voted 68 to 29 to end debate and they will wait until Tuesday to do a final vote. So that's it for today. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss tomorrow's tutorial on how to buy and sell NFTs part two. Goodbye.